Life Audio. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in Heaven. No matter what is going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. Right after this short word from our sponsor, we will pray together a prayer to cultivate long-lasting commitment in new marriages. A Prayer to Cultivate Long-Lasting Commitment in New Marriages Written and read by Lynette Kittle For this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together, let no one separate. Mark 10, 7-9 Comedian and former... Tonight Show host Jay Leno told Fox News about caring for his wife Mavis, who has advanced dementia. People say marriage is difficult. I don't get it. I enjoy her company. I enjoy taking care of her. Leno's statement is opposite to many who pass through the popular reality show Married on First Sight, a show that offers insight into the mindset of many singles one saying they want marriage. Yet when given the opportunity, they come up short, unwilling to truly commit, sacrifice, and submit to one another. In the pre-marriage interviews, prospective brides and grooms often express how ready they are to be married and want a lifelong, lasting commitment. However, all too soon into the marriage, it all starts to fall apart for most of the couples who were matched together sight unseen. Many may say it's because they didn't choose the person they married, but is it really? Looking at national statistics, those who choose their own spouse have similar failure statistics. So is it an authentic reason, or is it something deeper within individuals unwilling to pay the high cost of committing to a lifelong marriage, whether their spouse came to them sight seen or unseen. Anyone who is married knows the struggle is real. Enduring love and marriage seems harder to find and maintain in our world today. Jesus in Matthew twenty four, twelve through thirteen, cuts right to the issue of what is behind love that fails. Because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold, but the one who stands firm to the end will be saved. Likewise, the Apostle Paul in 2 Timothy 3, 1-4 points out, But mark this, there will be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, concerned, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Although it takes two in marriages to make it last, Scripture seems to most heavily address the husband's responsibility to love his wife. When a husband's love grows cold for his wife, the marriage is in dire trouble. Following are verses describing ways a husband can love his wife. Love her sacrificially. Ephesians 5.25 explains a husband's love for his wife as sacrificial in nature, like Christ's love for his bride, the church. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. Love her like your own body. Ephesians 5.28 directs husbands to love their wives like they do their own bodies. In the same way, husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. Love her like you love yourself. Ephesians 5.33 stresses how important it is 
for a husband to love his wife like himself. However, each one of you always must love his wife as he loves himself, and the wife must respect her husband. Love her in gentleness. Colossians 3.19 urges husbands to love their wives with gentleness. Husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. Love her with plenty of TLC. 1 Peter 3.7 encourages men to love their wives with tender loving care, along with noting the consequences of failing to do so. Husbands, in the same way, be considerate as you live with your wives and treat them with respect as the weaker partner and as heirs with you of the gracious gift of life so that nothing will hinder your prayers. Sadly, many lives make it very difficult for husbands to love them. Yet a husband loving his wife is not dependent on her actions and attitudes, but based on his relationship with God. A husband loving his wife is centered in his faith, because the deeper commitment he has to God, the more he is able to love his wife. 1 John 4, eight gives us no excuse for a lack of love, confirming that whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. Let's pray. Dear Father, thank you for Jesus, who loves his bride, the church, and has given himself up for her. Forgive us for the ways we have let the wickedness in the world affect our hearts in ways we may not even recognize by turning our hearts away from you and letting our love grow cold towards you and each other. Soften our hearts to love you more so that we may love each other. Help us as couples to cultivate a long-lasting commitment in our marriages. Strengthen us with your word so that we may love and respect each other as you have called us to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.